performing uh, two people at the same time, uh, just just um, technically, is very difficult. Very difficult thing. Uh, it's long. It's tedious. It's it's. You have to spend as much time remembering what the other person did in the same scene with you, what you did in your reaction and then their reaction. Uh, it, it's very difficult, but probably one of the most rewarding things because you're playing alter ego all the time. You're playing alter ego. You're going back and forth with the people. You know, it can keep you awake nights just as a human being saying, these people I'm dealing with because <laughs> you've got yourself in the middle, so you're doing, you know, uh, it, it's, it's a challenge. And it's something you certainly can't just off the top of your head, uh, especially the person that they gave me to play, Marge, who was uh, you know rough and tough and uh, you know a diner waitress who, who never meant to want or never wanted to kill anybody, but she certainly would be willing to to take a part of Catherine's or all of Catherine's uh, money and and live high on the hog, as it were. Uh, but it. Uh, that's a storyline that fed a thread through the year 2009. Isn't yes, that amazing? Recently, yeah. late 2000s, um, your health was in a fragile state, and you decided to step down from Chancellor Industries and write your memoirs. Um, talk about the storyline revisiting Marge all those years later. And talk about playing the double role again. Um, I think there was a. What's it like ten years big later? Span, there was a big span of years of playing the part. Of uh, twenty years, almost twenty years of playing that part. It was such a comfort zone uh, because Marge had grown twenty years older, and uh, as she was working in a diner, she was still the same, filled with bravado uh, 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 anything she just easy come easy go that's life what have you except she started drinking and she called Catherine and that's how Catherine and she got together again in the meantime when the car crash uh, Catherine's taking her to an AA meeting to sober her up because Catherine remembers this woman did save her life because Maury was going to kill me <laughs> he just and she we changed clothes and changed personalities, and I left in the car, and she stayed. Anyway, long story short, uh, it was a very comforting, it was very soft, it was very easy, but what it did, it opened up to bring any character, now this is Maria Bell, and it has been for some time at this point. Maria Bell, by bringing Marge back, and her subsequent subsequent death opened up the entire tapestry of the young Larissa's all over again, 34 years of bringing people back who had left the show, who are integral in, in and very, very much a part of the show to this day. And it's like, it was like starting the show all over again because you got all of these people back. And legitimately so, and uh, it gave me a chance to to review the show, review the people in it, where I did sort of a, you know, um, our town kind of thing of of going to scene to scene and tell and breaking the fourth wall for the first time of talking to the audience and saying, "You see those people over there." They ain't, you know, they ain't what you think. Yeah, they quarrel all the time. They just think they're beautiful. They ain't beautiful. Uh, and and giving my commentary on everybody, uh, the re the absolute response to that was incredible. And it was such a joy to do it. And of course, I am, I do the whole thing, and no one sees me because, to all intents, Marge is now dead. And. Uh, we now have Trisha Cass back in the, the throw, Beth Maitland back, and the Abbots. Uh, we have Tom Beards, who is Philip Chancellor the uh, third. Bill Bell saying, you know, that was his, he was sorry he made that mistake. Uh, oh my gosh. Uh, left and right, and, and John Abbott, of course, now is, is, is the ghost 
of, of Jack Abbott, but it brought all of the people past, and the people who had been watching the show from day one said, oh, and the new people who are watching it said, oh, that's how that ties in, that's who ties in with this. And that's the beauty of daytime, because it's, uh, it's like you brought part of the family back, and you can do that. In any other media, I don't know, you can't.